ASU strike history began under the military government in Nigeria. The issue has always been on interference and poor funding for tertiary institutions. The 2009 agreement signed with the civilian government of Umaru Musayer Adua on the issue of funding for revitalization of public universities, academic allowances, university autonomy has been bogged down in the area of implementation over the course of several administrations and still remains a contentious issue. If um, you don't start prioritizing higher education, these are people who uh, have the skills and knowledge and awareness and the resilience it takes to do research and of course talk to the kind of problems we are grappling with as a country. If you don't uh, respect them, recognize them, reward them well and uh, get them involved in finding solutions to Nigeria's problems and then even with respect to how to implement those solutions. They are not going to be able to move forward. A major impact of the incessant strikes in institutions of higher learning is the fact that many students and will-be students have lost interest in schooling or upgrading their qualifications and have resorted to skills acquisition. My sister then, when she was in school, she left school and then she... If, if the assistant hadn't happened, she would have should have been done. Like she's done now, but should have been done before now. So it's like she was supposed to be in 300 level, so but she had to start back at 200 level because of the ashes. So it affected her that full year. So she used it and she took business and she didn't really focus in school. So when it, the ashes strike expired, she went back to school, but the Z was not really there. Some stakeholders are urging ASU to see the rot in the education sector as a societal problem and get other stakeholders involved rather than fight alone. We must make a deliberate effort to um, listen to ASU. And one of the things I think ASU uh, officials can do is to probably um, stop looking at the problem as their problem. They should recruit other stakeholders and then in, in, in education students, parents, employers, and even um, opinion leaders, traditional leaders. Let's all uh, come in and stop looking at this problem as ASU's problem. It's society's problem, and we must fix it if we want to overcome our development challenges in a hurry. With the current 21-day strike notice, ASU is putting pressure on the federal government to address these long-standing issues which have been pending for years. How the federal government responds to this latest threat is left to be seen. In Lagos for New Central, I'm Darshan Usman.